A few years ago, my husband uh, became ill and I started doing home sharing in order to earn some extra money to pay for the expenses in connection with his care. And eventually he did go into an assisted living facility, which was quite expensive. And so the money was most important to me to be able to pay those expenses and stay in my house. Yeah, I was a single mom. I raised four kids in San Francisco by myself. And um, I, my house was my main asset. <laughs> So it was like, make it work for you. That was how I had to look at it. And also, I couldn't be out full-time working all the time with, with kids. So having extra space in my house that I was able to rent out at will when it worked out into our life and when it didn't really helped make ends meet. I home share um, initially to help offset costs with my mother, who was in a nursing home and she had been ill for over 16 years. I home share because I found myself getting divorced unexpectedly and I really wanted to stay in my home. It was my financial and emotional rock. We've lived in San Francisco for over 35 years and we're getting close to retirement age and um, home sharing allows us the ability to stay in our home because uh, San Francisco is a very expensive home. As a retired person in San Francisco, I um, was hit hard by, hard by the downturn and discovered to my dismay that I did not have sufficient funds to live a comfortable city life without doing something else. I home share uh, because I am not from this area and it allows me to travel back east and stay connected to my family, my children and my grandchildren. Home sharing allows me to stay in my home, but for me, it's really emotional because I love having travelers from all over the world share my home with me. I've been traveling for 40 years. I've stayed in people's homes around the world and it allows me to give back to world travelers and share this city that I love at an affordable price. Many of them say they would like a return visit and I think that's great for the economy of the city. And if they have a positive experience, they're going to share that with their friends and families and neighbors and we'll get new people coming to the city. I definitely recommend my favorite places, especially the small places that not you don't find in the tour books. As hosts, we sometimes uh, share our home with uh, interns and students. They cannot afford that much to spend on a hotel room. We make it really affordable for them to stay in our neighborhood and in San Francisco. We have many businesses that are close by that are wonderful ethnic restaurants on Mission Street as well as this fabulous place called Roxy Market where people come from all over the city to get the best sandwiches in the whole city. Maybe I'll take them to Humphrey Slocum and then we'll go up and down Balmy Alley to see the uh, murals that artists have painted in San Francisco. So it's something that the guest doesn't quite expect and kind of they really appreciate that personal approach because um, they really feel like they aren't just tourists, but they're actually part of living our life. I notice a lot of the women, they go, oh wow, we can't wait to go shopping, especially when they're coming from different countries. A business that we refer people to is uh, Local Take. Um, they're on 17th and Castro, and they actually have a lot of items that are um, made by local um, artists um, in their shop. I also collect menus from all of the local restaurants and I provide menus to the people that I home share. It helps me maintain my property and improve my property, again sharing the wealth with local businesses. My carpenter, my um, plumber are very happy people right now because I'm able to do these new projects. Phil's Coffee. Tartine. Bravo Pizza. Cafe Mama on Mission. Brazen Head. Marla Bakery. La Doire Restaurant. Canyon Market. Green Chili Kitchen. Tigers. Taco Licious. Being an older person, a retired person, I kind of need my 
quiet time in my space. And this way I can pick and choose. I have it in my listing that there is two days in between. So it would be, uh, and I live there. I mean, that is my home. Not renting longer term to a, a renter. Uh, for me, it was a benefit because I had family visiting from out of the state to stay with me to visit my mom who had been in a nursing home. So without having that extra room available to them, uh, they would be sleeping in my living room floor, sleeping in a hotel, you know, and, and paying all those outrageous rates. It gives me a world view. I have hosted people from all around the world and I learn so much from them. And it also provides me a very uh, nice social interaction that I wouldn't have otherwise. Home sharing is helping me and it's helping a lot of people who just want to rent out a room in their home on a short-term basis. I'm not taking housing off the housing market and it's helping me and it's helping bring people into San Francisco who can stay a little longer and enjoy our wonderful city. It's given people that were that had a nine to five they couldn't get out of be, and they didn't enjoy be able to be creative and make art and, and enjoy life more.